right now. Bobby's serious face for, for all of our viewers out there. Now, we are at Outback Pizza, if you cannot tell. This is actually, I think, our first time behind this bar, Bobby, which has been named Bar 4, correct? This is, in fact, bar number 4. Up, up in the top part of the room is bar number 1. And then, of course, there's the Outback Bar. And then there's bar number 4. And it's one of those yeah. things that the more time you spend wondering about it, the more confused you get. So yes, here at the Outback, we have bar number one, bar number four, and the Outback bar, and no reason whatsoever that we don't have a bar two or three. Well, there were bars that existed in the past, but the business has grown so greatly that there just isn't enough room for those anymore. <laughs> the, we got so busy, we had to get rid of two bars. <laughs> Right, you had to put in tables to serve all the pizza. We're, we're going for quality of bars, not, not quantity, quantity of bars. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, now before we move on to the most important part, I have been reserving this moment for you. I had interviewed a couple of guys earlier, and I had asked them their favorite pickup line for 2011, and you were the person that I thought could compete with them. Uh, I'll be honest with you, you put me on the spot like that, and now, you know, I, I, I don't know so what to... You're so good, you're I, so I, good. You know, yeah, but most of my impromptu sayings of like, you know, four hours of preparation. Yeah. How, well, how I don't think that constitutes impromptu, though. How, how were their lines? I think it was something, um, it, it was very appropriate for Killington. They said they have enough carrots for all of the snow bunnies up here. Oh, that wasn't bad. I, know, oh, I like that. That's uh, that's fun and friendly. You know what? Our objective for 2011 is to work on Bobby's pickup lines. Bobby's pick you know what? That yeah. is number one on my list. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's move on. We are going to create one of, uh, I guess, a signature drink that we've just sort of concocted tonight, right? Well, you know, over my time in Killington, on more than one occasion, I've done the drink of the week, either here or at other establishments on the road. But now I'm actually getting the drink of the weeks made for me. <laughs> Miranda and Look one of that. our bartenders, Alyssa, came up with this one. Oh. It's gotten to the point where I can't even come up with my own drink of the weeks. We get the credit. I now, love it. Now we're just phoning them in. And we can't even come up with a good name for this one. What did we end up with? The Jackberry Blast. I thought it was really good. It's for Outback Jack, which is oh, the okay. friendly, cuddly little koala that runs back and forth outside. Okay. Right. Always ever watching what's going on inside. We're going to start with some Stoli Blueberry, a nice hearty portion, and then a little Stoli Raspberry, hence the berry in the name. And a little Red Bull, because, you know, you can't get enough Red Bull. Hence the Jack, I guess, right? You get all get jacked, all jacked up, up on it. All right, we're working with it. Right. And then we got a little cranberry juice, because, you know, you can't go wrong with a little fruit juice in a cocktail. And there you have it, the Jackberry Blast that was invented about five minutes ago. <laughs> there goes impromptu for you, okay? That's the definition of impromptu for all of our viewers. I would totally agree. Now don't forget, we have Martin Luther King weekend this weekend. Big weekend. And then next weekend, as if things weren't getting crazy enough, the Dew Tour comes to town. Joey Leone on stage tonight, tomorrow night, and the entire Dew Tour weekend. Next weekend he's bringing along a special guest, a saxophonist, Doug James, an amazing musician. So come to the Outback. Come to the Outback. Eat pizza. Get Eat Drink pizza. Jack Berry Blast, <laughs> listen to Joey Leone, and figure out what happened to bar two and three. Yes, try to figure it out. Try to figure out where they were actually located. And once you figure that out, tell us what you think. Right, Bobby? It'll be like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> scavenger hunt right here on Killington After Dark. So make sure you stay tuned. And if you have missed out, you can check us out on Facebook as well as YouTube, and where else? It's a great website, I've been to it. I might be on it, I don't know if I'm still on it. Outbackpizza.com, don't miss it, and yes, you are featured prominently. So check out all of us at Outbackpizza.com. Don't go anywhere, Bobby and I will be right back. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the Outback Pizza. Don't forget, 
It's the only wood fire pizza right here in Killington. And they're the first ones to do it up here, and they do it best. And for a little testimonial to the pizza, I've got Michael and Andrew, a couple of good looking guys have come all the way from Long Island, New York to do a little skiing and a little sliding around. Michael, now we got an issue here because Andrew's not sure which piece is yours. This is mine right here. How do you know that? It's got more sauce on it. All right, all right, you took the one with the sauce. Good move. All right, listen, uh, you guys said you already ate somewhere, but you're so stuffed, but you saw that pizza, you had to try it out, right? Yeah, you convinced me to try it, so I'm like, uh, I'm all right, I can't pass this up. There you go, and that's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's actually really good, yeah. really good. They got a whole uh, variety of menu stuff, obviously. You can eat it here, Andrew. You can take it home, Michael. They'll pack it up and, uh, you know, whatever you want. Pizza your way, that's what we call it up here. Sounds good. Tell me about Long Island, where are you from exactly? Shirley. Surely, I don't know where that is. Where is it? By the Hamptons. By the Hamptons. Yeah, by Brookhaven. By, okay. by, by Brookhaven. So that's out there. Yeah, yeah. Out on it's it. way out there, yeah. To get here, you drive all the way into the city, you got to take the ferry over. Yes, yes. No, we drove all the way. Frog's Neck Bridge. Frog's Neck Bridge. Six hours, cool. And uh, you're up there at Killington. You've been up here a couple days. You're thinking about checking out Pico the, the, tomorrow, maybe, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, you tell me you're a skier. Yes. Michael Skier, Andrew, snowboarder. Snowboarder. <laughs> Maybe getting back into the skiing. You still got all your old gear, you told me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to try it out again. Yeah. See if I can still do it. <laughs> I said, yeah, I think it's like riding a bike, although that's only what I've heard because I've never really snowboarded, so I've only just been skiing. But I think it would come right back to you. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'll yeah. just give it a shot. Yeah, very good. All right, guys, listen, I don't want your pizza to get cold, but I just want to say hi to the guys from Long Island out in the Hamptons. I'll tell you about my Hampton trip one time. One time we went, did a sailing trip from Essex, Connecticut. You know where that is? Yeah, we sailed out. My buddy's dad had this giant sailboat, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was just, I was like the fifth mate on the crew, but it was good. Went out to the Hamptons. It's really beautiful out there. So uh, if you guys have a house and want to give me a call, maybe I could come out and visit you. Not a problem. <laughs> okay, they're saying yes. All right, All right man. Uh, more sauce. Michael, Andrew, thanks. Enjoy it. Stay tuned, man. We'll be back. It'd be much better, darling, if I was living outdoors. Many more years, I gotta let you dog me around. Many more years, do I gotta let you dog me around. I'd rather be lying asleep. Six feet in the ground.